Ships transport the vast majority of all our goods around the world. As a result, they produce lots of carbon dioxide emissions, and in total, they contribute to 3% of global emissions each year. But unlike other sectors, ships have a long lifetime of around 25 years, and ships being built in 2020 could still be sailing around the world in 2045. This means that the sector are locked in to CO2 emissions from this long-lived fossil fuel infrastructure for years into the future. This is known as committed emissions. So it begs the question, what quantity of CO2 are ships committed to? Research at the Tyndall Centre for Climate Change Research uses new data covering 11,000 ships in the European Union to calculate the committed emissions of the existing shipping infrastructure. Results show that with no action, existing ships alone will exhaust and then exceed a 1.5 degree Paris Agreement carbon budget. Fortunately, the sector has great potential to reduce these committed emissions by using measures such as wind propulsion, slower speeds and shore power. The research also highlights the importance of time and shows that the sector has no time to wait for low carbon fuels and need to rapidly deploy short-term measures within the 2020s to stay within carbon budgets.